Another day, another story. Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to explain what the HLB scale is and how it can help us choose the right surfactant for different purposes. HLB stands for hydrophilic lipophilic balance, and it is a measure of how water loving or oil loving a surfactant molecule is. Surfactants are substances that can reduce the surface tension of liquids and form emulsions, which are mixtures of two immiscible liquids, such as oil and water. Surfactants have many applications in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, detergents, and more. But how do we know which surfactant to use for a specific task? That's where the HLB scale comes in handy. The HLB scale ranges from 0 to 20, with 0 being the most lipophilic and 20 being the most hydrophilic. A surfactant with a low HLB value is more soluble in oil and tends to form water in oil emulsions, while a surfactant with a high HLB value is more soluble in water and tends to form oil in water emulsions. A surfactant with an intermediate HLB value can act as a wetting agent, a dispersant, or a solubilizer, depending on the system. For example, SPAN 20, which is a sorbitan ester, has an HLB value of 8.6 and is used as a water in oil emulsifier. Tween 20, which is a polyoxyethylene sorbitan ester, has an HLB value of 16.7 and is used as an oil in water emulsifier. Sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a common detergent, has an HLB value of 40 and is very water soluble. There are different methods to calculate the HLB value of a surfactant, depending on its structure and composition. One of the most common methods is Griffin's method, which was introduced in 1949 and 1954. This method is based on the molecular weight percentage of the hydrophilic and lipophilic portions of the surfactant molecule. The formula is as follows. HLB equals MMH times 100. Where MH is the molecular mass of the hydrophilic portion of the molecule, and M is the molecular mass of the whole molecule. This method works well for non-ionic surfactants, which have no charge on their molecules. Another method is the Davies method, which was suggested in 1957. This method is based on the chemical groups present in the surfactant molecule and their contribution to the hydrophilicity or lipophilicity. The formula is as follows. HLB equals 7 plus I equals 1 N airy summation N high minus J equals 1 N airy summation MLJ. Where N is the number of hydrophilic groups in the molecule, high is the value of the ITH hydrophilic group, M is the number of lipophilic groups in the molecule, and LJ is the value of the JTH lipophilic group. The values of the different groups can be found in the tables provided by Davies. This method works well for ionic surfactants, which have a charge on their molecules. Some common surfactants and their HLB values are Sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, HLB equals 40. Sorbitan monostearate, span 60, HLB equals 4.7. Polysorbate 80, tween 80, HLB equals 15. Lecithin, HLB equals 4. Cetyl alcohol, HLB equals 1. The HLB value indicates how water-loving or oil-loving a surfactant molecule is. A low HLB value means the surfactant is more soluble in oil and forms water in oil emulsions, while a high HLB value means the surfactant is more soluble in water and forms oil in water emulsions. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new about the HLB scale and how it can help you understand and choose the best surfactant for your needs. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up for Orcon NT. And don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks for watching and see you next time. For more information go through the links are in the description.